today's Midday Kentucky Cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. We're in the kitchen with Miss Allison Davis, chef extraordinaire, <laughs> right here at Midday Kentucky. And um, what are we going to be working on today? I see the meat. I see broccoli. I love broccoli, by the oh, way. Oh, good. Yes, yeah, a huge broccoli fan. And you like love beef it. too? I do. Okay, I do. So well, this it's a win-win. Th this is up your alley. <laughs> um, this is a paleo-friendly. Um, I guess this is also keto friendly. It's a good, quick go to stir fry uh -huh. uh, for dinner. So, it's to me one of the easiest things that you can do on a weeknight mm -hmm. um, as far as uh, cooking up a meal, you know, for a family. Gotcha. Um, so, this is going to be kind of a beef and broccoli stir fry with some Asian flavors, and Yum. I'm going all in. All right. And you know what? I kind of want to back up too. The paleo and the keto. Let's talk about that a little bit um, for our viewers, especially like what is paleo, what is keto, and what does that mean to uh, yeah? Paleo everyone. is really a diet uh, lifestyle that is m mimicked off of what we would think of as what cavemen would eat. Okay. Um, so it's made up of meat and vegetables. Anything that really is derived from, you know, the earth. So okay. nuts are appropriate. Not something that would be processed or like um, planted, mm -hmm. harvested. Like your beans um, are kind of a no-no. Legumes. Really? Okay. Um, so no so. carbs, no real breads. Okay. Uh, but vegetables and meat and fruits and berries, that sort of thing. So okay. more of what a caveman would would consist of. Okay. Keto is ketogenic, which focuses on high fat, mm -hmm. low carb. Okay. So you get a lot. More fats into your diet with the keto friendly. Gotcha. Yeah. And they can work well together then. Yeah, I think that there's a good, you know, mix between both. Okay. So all I'm doing at this point is just searing off some beef. Okay. Um, this is some skirt steak uh, strips, which is perfect for um, just perfect for stir fry. Okay. Um, and a lot of times you can even buy stir fry strips like this that are already ready done, go. ready to go, exactly. Okay. So I'm just kind of cooking those off, searing those off, and then I'm going to set those over to the side. Okay. Um, I don't like to cook it too far because I feel like it continues to get tough. And so I like it more of a medium, you know, rare, where you just really just get a good gotcha. sear on just it. a little bit of red in it. Yeah, and know. then um, it's still nice and tender. Mm -hmm. So I think that's something that people maybe tend to overcook. Um, and these are very thin strips, so that's what's nice is that it takes only about a minute. Good. So we'll do another round, and then we're going to go in with our broccoli. Okay. And we're going to bring it all back together and make our sauce. Okay. All right. So how are we doing there? We're doing good. We're getting seared. <laughs> all right. So while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start kind of building uh, here. We're going to go in with a little bit of garlic. Oh, yeah. Um, again, all this is going to be back into one pot. So, you know, just start working it in. Okay. And, uh, we've got some broccoli we're going to soften up just a little bit. So I've already cut these into some florets, mm -hmm. um, all about the same size. There you go. You got it? Yep. Um, I did good. start the pan. I didn't mention this, but in the pan, I started with a little bit of coconut yes. oil. Yeah. And that will help to prevent from sticking. So if you do have to add a little bit more, um, that's fine. But I just like the coconut oil flavor, and it works well with all the Asian uh, spices that we're going to add in. Okay. All right. So we're going in with our broccoli. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start in with our seasoning. So I've got a bit of ginger uh -huh. that we're going to add to that. It's going to give it a nice bit of heat. And then um, a touch of sesame oil. Okay. Okay. So that'll help loosen things up. Um, the recipe I'm going to give you calls for coconut aminos, but a lot of sometimes you still can't find that in all of the uh, grocery stores. Mm -hmm. So another substitute is um, this Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. It gotcha. just has a bit of anchovies, but it gives that soy sauce flavor mm -hmm. without yeah. adding the soy. Gotcha. So, and then we've got a bit of fish sauce which gives that umami effect. It just kind of rounds everything out. Mm. Um, yep. Now, I like, so good. I like a bit of acidity, so I'm going to go in with a touch of rice vinegar. Okay. And really, it's just splash. You know, if, you, if you're making it for a larger amount of people, then you just add a little bit more. Gotcha. Um, but it's about equal parts of everything. I like heat, of course, mm -hmm. so we're going to go in with just a touch of red Perfect. pepper flake in this one. You and your heat. <laughs> yeah, I just like balance. Yeah. All right, so what we can do is we can add our uh, meat back in. Okay. And then we're going to season this up or garnish with some sesame seeds. Gotcha. Very and good. If you look at that in five minutes, 
you've got dinner on the table. Awesome. Well, for this recipe and many other recipes, head over to our website at WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky, or you can head over to Miss Allison's website at wildtimecooking.com, or she's all over Instagram, too, at Chef Allison Davis, right? All right, yeah. All right, we'll be right back right after this short break. Keep it right here.